Hi, my name is Dan and I'm a mental health pharmacist and today I will be talking about the antidepressant medication class called SNRIs. SNRI stands for serotonin and norepinephrine reuptake inhibitor and this adds on to the effect that SSRIs have which just is a selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor. So this adds the norepinephrine component. So when cell A is trying to send a message to cell B, it will release neurotransmitters like serotonin and norepinephrine. But your body doesn't like to waste the chemicals, so cell A, after it releases it, kind of has a vacuum pump that sucks the excess back into it so it can reuse the chemicals. And in the case with an SNRI medication, it blocks that vacuum pump for serotonin and for norepinephrine. So both of those chemicals stay out there longer and can affect cell B. The first SNRI medication that was approved by the FDA was Effexor in 1993. So I always found it pretty interesting that in the entire history of depression, two of the most commonly seen medication classes, the SSRIs came out in the 80s and the SNRIs came out in the early 90s. Both serotonin and norepinephrine aren't just used by the brain, so these chemical transmitters are used throughout the body, and that's where a lot of the side effects can come from. So serotonin seen in the gut, and you can get the stomach side effects. Um, also from the serotonin and norepinephrine in the brain, you can get the headache side effects, and then serotonin can cause sexual dysfunction. What the norepinephrine component adds is an increase in blood pressure, so a lot of these medications can increase blood pressure. These medications include um, venlafaxine, which is Effexor, desvenlafaxine, which is brand name Prestique, uh, duloxetine, which is brand name Cymbalta, and then levomilnasopran, which is brand name Fetzema. So these medications might be a little more expensive than the SSRI antidepressant medications, a good website for this is called goodrx.com and this website will give you cash prices and also provide coupons. So if you go into your doctor's office, you can be prepared for what you can afford and what you can't afford. So this wraps up my quick overview of the SNRI medication class for antidepressants and I hope that was helpful. Thank you.